y'all it's heel heat time hi everybody and welcome to heel heat my name is george coles and this is our ring of honor show for the week first up we're going to jump right into the first match hansen versus adam cole i thought this was a really good match a good um mix of styles i think hansen's a little bit underrated in the ring i think he's actually very good talent adam cole what can you say about Adam Cole that hasn't already been said? He's absolutely one of the best wrestlers in the world right now. Um, good back and forth action. Adam Cole picks up the win. Afterwards, we see Michael Bennett from the from the kingdom. His kingdom partner and Maria Canellas come out. They attack Hanson. They uh, start cutting promo and which brings out Michael Elgin, who's supported Aunt Hanson and Raymond Rowe, the war machine, and kind of saves the day for him. But overall, a great match, a great mixture of two guys that you wouldn't think would actually work well together, but they did, and it came off extremely well. I think it speaks volumes to how good Hanson and Adam Cole both are. Next up, we have Michael Elgin versus Tommaso Ciampa. For the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Championship. Really extremely weird. And this is one of my biggest pet peeves about the Ring of Honor TV show. Before this match, they aired a commercial promoting Jay Briscoe beating Michael Elgin for the world title. So basically, if I didn't know any better, let's, let's just suspend disbelief for a second. If I didn't know any better, I would think that, you know, I would have thought Mike Logan was still the champion going into this match. Now I know that Tommaso Ciampa has no chance of getting a clean win and becoming champion. So basically, you're pissing away your main event. I don't know, it's the, the continuity needs to be fixed. And I know for monetary reasons they have to tape two or three tape shows at a time. I have no problem at all, zero problem with the way they tape it. The problems I have is when the continuity gets start getting screwed up. You should have your tape shows, let's say it's three weeks out, or four weeks, or whatever they want to do. You should be able to say, okay, on this fourth show, I mean, you should... You should know you're booking well enough that, barring an injury, you should go, okay, by this fourth show, we've planned for Michael Elgin to lose the belt. So we can't have him on the show as world champion. But we can put that match on the first show. Because he'll still be world champion at that time. Do you see what I'm saying? It's still... Oh, to me, it just... it The logic is a little bit flawed. They should match it up and say, okay, if we got Michael Elgin losing the belt on September, whatever, he can only be on the show as world champion on shows that are going to air before that date. And then vice versa, if we have a heel turn, they can only be face on shows before the date the person's going to turn heel. I know they do it. I know that DVD sales is their main thing and the internet pay-per-view is a big deal. I know the TV show is really not their money maker. However, it's a pet peeve of mine and it just takes away from my enjoyment a little bit. We had a very good match between Michael Elgin and Tommaso Ciampa. Elgin wins by stoppage. Again, it just... I would enjoy the match better if they would have announced it as a world title match if it was just a Elgin versus Ciampa. Which they could easily do in front of a live audience. You don't have to have Elgin come out with the belt. They could announce him to the live crowd as world heavyweight champion. They could actually they could even bring have him bring out the belt. You just don't have to show his entrance or him leaving with the belt on the TV show. 
I mean, there's, it's quite often we don't see the wrestlers go in the back. It's easy to cut a wrestler's entrance, too. I'm just saying, it just... To me, it took away from it. It took away from the overall vibe of the show. Which let, that brings us into the... Right, right into the ratings for it. Uh, we only had two matches. Two really good matches, I must say. But with the... With the continuity errors, I'm going to have to give the show a four. The matches were good. Really good. Just, I can't get over the fact... That we're watching a show that's given away the ending, basically. That'd be like... That'd be like going to see... I don't know, the next Batman movie knowing how Batman wins at the end. You, you didn't, wouldn't want to do it. You don't watch The Walking Dead or, or Game of Thrones, and some people know because they've read the books or comic books... But the shows are a little bit different, so those are probably bad examples. But you don't watch a show like that or a 24 or Sopranos because you know where they're going. You watch shows because you want to you take the journey, you want to go with them. <clears throat> the best entertainment is when you don't know what's going to happen. And everything surprises you. But anyway, basically that's all I have to say about this. My name is George Coles, and this has been another episode of Heal Heat.